What's your view on the afternoon? We're not making any sailing this afternoon. Wind, um, unfortunately, the wind is blowing too hard. It's, it's a great shame. Um, yeah, it's blowing the 25 knots, you know, the gusting more. And, 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 uh, you know, forecast isn't what, what was for So, what's, what's the fears with the wind? Is it, is it the crews or is it the boats? Um, it's, it's a bit of a mixture. I mean, we're running a, a three day event effectively, and you want the boats to be to last down for three days, otherwise, you know, you can damage the boats. So, it ruins it for everyone. So, tomorrow morning, we're going to start really early? Tomorrow morning, we will start no later than 8 o'clock. No later than 8 o'clock. So, the competitors get a rest this afternoon and then two really big full days, hopefully. That will, that will be ideal. And what's your hopes for the weekend as Commodore? It's not just about sailing for you, it's about the whole club interaction. It, it, one of the really nice things about the, the Wilson Trophy is seeing all the same, well, a lot of the same old faces coming coming back year on year, and competing, having, just having a really nice party. So it's about friends sailing and fun. It is. It, it, it's the whole thing. There are, there are a number of, of people here this weekend. You know, they've got all their families. And the, the younger sailors, that are, that are, you know, the, the children that are growing up in the sport. The next generation. It is. Great. Fantastic. Well, the best of luck for the weekend, Chris, and uh, we'll speak to you on Sunday. Andy, thanks for talking to us. Uh, we're here with Andy Whittle and you are the event director for the weekend. That's right, second time. Second time, well done. So you've come back after the first one, that's commendable. Um, just have a word with you while we've got a chance this afternoon. Obviously the sailing's off because of the wind, but really this is, this event is, needs a team, an army of people to support it. So just kind of take us through a little bit of the organisation because this doesn't happen without a lot of effort. Well, it's the 63rd time we've done it. Um, we have a, a bit of a tradition in West Kirby in that we continually try to improve our perfection. So we have a debrief after every Wilson and we see what we've done wrong, how we can improve it. We've obviously got it well wrong this year because I'm just looking out of the window and we've got a pretty constant 23, 24 knots of wind which is far too much and everybody's a bit jittery and there are 30 teams downstairs and they're all wandering around looking what to do. So we're hoping it'll calm down. Yes, we have uh, quite an army. We've got a series of starters and finishers for each race. There are about 100 people helping throughout the event, all members, all self-help. Um, I did know and I forgot how many actual tubs of butter we go through. And this is just for the lunches and what have you. We have outside caterers who come and put a, a dinner on. We're, doing, we're having a barbecue tonight. Tomorrow night there will be 330 people sat down for a formal dinner, and that's outside caterers who do that. So, not just the sailing, it's the entertaining the sailors, giving them something to do. So, although there's no sailing today, they're not going to be bored, they're going to have fun, they're going to catch up with friends. What we try and do is keep them all on campus because we've got a huge footprint here. We've got the amphitheatre of sailing on the Marine Lake, which is just perfect. Grandstand tomorrow, full commentary, which you know you're involved in yourself. Uh, and it is just the club premier event in team racing, it's just fantastic. And the way everybody jumps in from West Kirby and, and moans the whole event is just amazing. Just from my point of view, it's just very, very proud. It's a credit to everyone, really. Yeah, so for, the, in particular. So that for those of you on the internet that are watching and are within 100 miles, the advice is get down here Saturday yeah, or Sunday. It's very easy, 53, 56, come up from Wales, do whatever you can do, just get here. Thanks, Andy. How many is in your team of umpires? We have 26 umpires here. Um, they will be at least 24 umpires on the water every day. From 8 o'clock in the morning? Uh, yes, unfortunately from 8 o'clock in the morning to so about 5.30 in the evening. So that's a long day. And where, where are these umpires coming from? We've got uh, umpires coming from Australia, uh, USA, Norway, we have a Spanish-Irish guy on the umpire team as well. So that's quite a carbon footprint and a lot of commitment. I believe that the umpires rack up something of the order of 75,000 miles to get here and back. Wow, that's great. So take us through, what what do the umpires do for the sailors? Uh, we make instant decisions on the water where there's an incident between two boats. Now when you say instant decision, for the people watching on the internet, why is that better? In the past, uh, some uh, 20 years ago, that if there was an issue between two boats, and team racing is all about putting a penalty onto another boat to gain an advantage for your team, 
if there was an issue between two votes, then it would have to go to what's called a protest hearing with a panel of judges ashore. And that's and could after delay the race. after racing and could delay the racing for hours. If I'm on the shore, how do I know there's been a, an issue or there's a protest? Uh, you will see the umpires make the decision on it. If they fly a green flag, it means that there has been no penalty. If they fly a red flag, they will point that at one of the boats and the penalty will be to take two turns, two complete rotations. And you, you will see the red flag fly, but they pointed at a boat and that boat then subsequently taking two turns. And they happen seamlessly, so the winners that go across the finish line are the winners. The sequence that crosses the finish line will be the result. Brilliant, so you're making the sailing fairer for the sailors. That was my American counterpart yeah. was trying to get into the picture. He's always trying to get in the picture. <laughs> so you make the sailing fairer for the sailors, better for the spectators and less delays. Uh, that's absolutely right. And we also have a lot of fun as umpires because many of us team race when we were young. We loved the sport and we still continue it and we get the best seats in the house. Perfect. Well Pete, thanks to you and your team and have a great week.